There, there well, are just thank you. 70. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes, I've got you. Thank you. OK, there, there are just 72 days left to Christmas. And there are rumours that the government plans to give the country a break, no matter what lockdown restrictions are in place at the time, so that people can meet up with family and have some semblance of normality. Uh, following the year we've had, many, many people will be looking forward to this well-earned break. Uh, but for, for roughly 8,800 people currently on the Wandsworth housing waiting list, There'll be no break from the anxiety of an insecure home and no respite, no respite from worrying about keeping a roof over their heads. We've been living through the housing crisis for the last decade with a number of people in desperate need of help rising every year. Last Christmas, uh, there were 3,000 children without a permanent home in Wandsworth. This year, there are likely to be 3,500. It's why we on this side are so stubborn about making sure the council takes every opportunity to provide more social housing whenever it can. It might seem like we do it just to sort of annoy the ruling party, but we all, but we all see too many cases of hideous overcrowding or people struggling in overpriced, under-maintained private rented properties to pass up the opportunity to alleviate that pain. From 2014 to 2017, only 393 social rent homes were built in the borough, compared with 6,000 private homes as developers were indulged and massive opportunities were wasted. Wandsworth is building the wrong kind of housing, and this is why the housing crisis gets worse year on year. And housing matters. The pandemic has impacted people in very different ways. While many of us were swapping sourdough recipes, watching Tiger King and experimenting with facial hair, Many of our residents have been going through hell. We know the pandemic has been harshest on those living in overcrowded homes. We know that those on the lowest paid jobs are, are, are particularly vulnerable too. For some, the pandemic was a time for quiet introspection. For others, it was a time when all the things they've been made to do without, like a garden, a balcony, home working space, decent Wi-Fi, were all put into sharp focus. We saw a mother with four children who all had to use a smart, her smartphone to do their homework. We saw people saying goodbye to loved ones without being able to mourn them properly. We saw a terrifying rise in domestic violence and neighbourhood disputes as pressures built up. As a council, we need, to pro we need to provide more resources to help meet these challenges. The virus is unprecedented, but we can see the problems coming down the tracks and we need to be ready. As bad as the housing crisis has been, it's about to get very much worse. Just this week, the number of people claiming work-related benefits, it's 2.7 million, an increase of 1.5 million since the crisis began in March. Of course, the people who are already struggling, those in the most precarious and low-paid jobs, are the ones most at risk of losing their jobs as we launch into this second wave of this awful pandemic. Homelessness charity Shelter reported that 227,000 renters in England have fallen into, rare, into arrears since the start of the crisis, and 170,000 tenants have already been threatened with eviction, despite there being a ban in place. All of this was before the end of furlough and before the lifting of the eviction ban. Private renters are now at the mercy of landlords who still have the weapon of the Section 24 no fault eviction to end a tenancy. We know what's coming. The council officers have performed miracles during this pandemic, working alongside community heroes and volunteer residents. Those in the most need were taken care of. Communities set up mutual aid groups to make sure neighbours were looked after and many of us were members. The pandemic showed how we can be at our best. As we enter this second wave, our, vul our most vulnerable residents need us to be at our best again. Thank you, Councillor McLeod. Thank you.